Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. It's time for another round of Heroes of the Storm. This time I'm taking on Nubarak. This guy is a royal pain to play, but for the sake of variety, I'm going to go ahead and play him and maybe uh, tip you guys off to a little bit of the uh, different types of characters that are available. This is a melee warrior, which means he has a certain set of abilities which can rack up his health and regen so that he's basically a tank. Another tech tree that's available is he does produce little uh, minions, beetles, that come out when he uses any of his abilities and then one of his uh, upgrades is to spawn them periodically. So he can produce his own minions to help push a lane and you can get upgrades for those to great extent where they're actually fairly strong with their own shields and all that other stuff too. And then his last set of abilities is his traps. He does have a impale which you can see how long that is with my 25% boost. Hardened Carapace is a personal shield that you put on and then Burrow Charge, which allows you to chase down or escape enemies. And this, as you can see, stuns. Then this can get me away because I'm not going to win that fight anyway. Alright, so right now we're just going to tech up a little bit here. We're gonna, Well, that's uh, subcom terminology there for you. And I'm dead. Crap. Illidan is just so strong one-on-one. -on -one. Even with the extra regen. Not able to pull out of that one. So, what's going to happen here is I got to figure out who I'm going to tag along with. Because uh, Anubarak is basically totally helpless on his own. He has got to accompany people in order to play to his strengths. He is a trapper. He can slow down opponents. And he does a really good job of assisting his team in takedown. So that's what I'm going to have to play towards. And uh, I don't really have the damage to venture out on my own too awfully much. The map is Pirate's Bay or Pirate's Cove or something like that. Um, basically, you collect doubloons. You turn them in to Blackheart. And he will create... A cannon barrage for you and that'll let you uh, easily take down the opposing team's defenses without too much trouble on your own part right here is what I'm good at I'm gonna throw down spikes to trap him not gonna let him get away use the burrow to chase him down and that is that but I gotta get out because my health is desperately low and no he's already here gonna oh spike didn't work shield and out by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That was a close one right there. Oh, I'm going to sit here and chill for a second. I don't think I have enough health, so I'm going to go ahead and recall. Um, you can kill any mercenary group or these doubloon camps. Kill the pirates here and you will be able to gain two doubloons from those. So you're going to want to pick up doubloons as much as possible and turn them in as much as possible. As well as camping on the chest when it's available in order to deny that from the enemy team you can actually make a whole game out of sitting out denial i have done it before probably not the absolute best strategy but it does work out pretty well so you can see here i've got two of these little beetles with me um one from using my spikes and one from using hardened carapace and that will basically just assist me with my attack so i'm going to increase the range of my burrow and that's going to let me escape a little bit better. You can see I've got a fairly good bit of range on that too now. Now stand here and guard my teammate while he is turning in. Don't want to let that get interrupted. Right now the enemy team has eight and we have about to be two. Actually zero. I thought he just turned in. That was very strange. So we're about to get stomped. They're already two levels ahead, so... I was not expecting to win this one. I cannot tank on my own, and this is not a very strong individual player, so... Oh, man. There's one. I was kind of expecting some difficulty, but maybe not quite this much. All right, there's a double. Mission successful, that's what you want to do, and for some reason Diablo has taken to flying because that's what he's good at. I'm going to run down here and grab these doubloons, easy money, right here. Later on, I'm going to go ahead and double down on my range abilities 
I'm gonna pick up the um, first and slow harden run away from oncoming traffic we need to triple team this guy while we can and no 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 slow all of you guys and get the hell out of dodge please don't kill me please don't realize you can kill me there's a death oh my word out on 25 health holy kishmolies that was bad Wowzers. I was terrifyingly close to death. We've made up a small amount of ground on our leveling, and Talf is doing a really good job of denying coin turn in. That's what we want to do. I didn't die, so I'm maintaining my five coins. Let's see if I can get a good turn in here. Oh no. Slow. Not gonna work. Burrow. Get behind my teammates. Protect me! I don't want to die. I am too young for this. Oh, I thought I saw the trail. Thought he was coming. You know, a few people will assist me. And they were waiting on me. Ah, dang it. Illidan is just so fast. He got past my spike. I shouldn't have gone back alone. I should have waited. But this is a classic example. We're going to lose this because my team is not working together at all. Teamwork is vital. We've got four people in four completely different sections of the map. And me by myself, the two of us had enough coins to turn in to claim the prize. And that was a fail. Now we got another dead teammate here. This kind of goes to show exactly what you got to do. To make it work and we are not making it work at the moment we're gonna turn in and we're gonna see yep there it is thankfully we're not quite so far behind I'm just gonna give up on that I'm gonna go around and do a little bit of laning just for the sake of holy cow they're all here I'm gonna escape that circle. No, Diablo, you are not going to do that to me. Meow. Escape! This guy is an escape expert. I gotta say, this is probably the guy I've come many, 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 many times very close to death. And uh, it did not quite kill me because this guy can get away from such stupid circumstances. All right, gonna spike, harden, kind of dance around the outside edge here. Don't want to get too close. I just want to be a hindrance. Is all I want to be here. Just gotta slow these guys down as much as I possibly can. And goodbye. I'm gonna try to claim it here. And boom! Got him. <laughs> Slow for the stun and kill. Nicely done. Teammates helped me out there on that one. So that's what you want to do with this. You've got to um, You have got to work together as a team and This guy excels at that trapping other players and allowing your team to rack up the damage necessary to kill them All right, so we're gonna trade in here Actually gonna come Yes, one shot in the bag gonna claim that now this is what's happening over here. It targets all of the different towers. And get a place where it's targeting up here. Let's start heading northward. Picks up to three targets at a time. Ah, 
Alrighty. Little bit of laning. This guy has such pitiful basic attack damage, it's not even funny. Basically, you run in, unleash your special abilities, and then leave as quickly as possible. Because otherwise... Where are these guys? Alright, they're not here. Alright, I'm gonna go south. See what's going on down this here way. Is he unleashing my two minions there? Get out, get out, get out. No! Ah, that's why I hate Illidan. I hate dealing with him. Alright, burning damage deals 36 per second to nearby enemies or increase my shield. I'm gonna go for burning damage just because, um, yeah, he needs every bit of help he can get as far as damage goes. Lost to keep. Not good at all. You're getting way overextended with your heroic there, bud, and paid for it. No! All of our beautiful coins! They're not supposed to go over there. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you, buddy. That was glorious of you. Slow you down. Alright, we're both alive. Just barely, but we're both alive, and that's what matters. Unfortunately, they're going to have more than enough coin to turn in. I don't like the looks of that little green spot there. Looks like that hero is back. Oh, it looks like our Illidan turned in enough coins single-handedly to unleash the boat. That is pretty dang impressive, and he's still got three left here. Nice. I don't want to carry any coins. I am dying entirely too much for that. I'm just going to kind of carry on my wayward son like nothing's ever happened. Let's see if there's anybody wandering around out here. I saw you. There you are. Kaboosh. You're not getting away from me. You may think you're getting away from me, but you're not getting away from me. Boom. You're dead. I claim your coins. And now I'm dead. Run away! Alright, we're good. So that's what I love about this guy. That's the only thing I like about him. You can escape from the most unlikely situations ever. Alright, increase charge area and damage by 85%. Aha, I finally got off my slow before he got off his um, ability where he flips me over his back and traps me behind him. That is annoying as all crap. All right, we are one, we're a half a level ahead, which is good. Could be better, but it's good. All right, so we're gonna head up here. And I died. Well, crap. Kill, 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 nope. Yes, brilliant. Got an assistance from up here. And he is going to go down as well. Long range attacks on its health. And that's it. That is two down for them and two down for us. Unfortunately, he is still within range of the chest. Going to pick up those coins. And enemies just traded in. They are down to three towers, but we're going to be down to three towers as well after this cycle. So we're not ahead by any means. This is right down to the wire on who is going to win this. 
Incoming! I'm gonna come up here and assist these mercs. See if we can't break through one of these keeps here. Alright, that's the end of that. I got no coin. I got no need to go assist. I need to start talking with proper English. I don't know why I laxed off into the crappiness of the southern dialect, but apparently... Get away from me. I said... Nope, he's not listening. Oh well. See how I'm doing here? Not too badly, actually. I am second for experience point, and I've died five times, which is bad. But I've killed far more people than I have uh, been killed by, so it is not all bad. It is definitely not all bad. That is not as disastrous as I thought it would be before I looked at it. This is my least favorite thing, is waiting to respawn. Once you get into the higher levels and you're waiting like a minute to get back into the game, and you're screaming in agony because you can see how much your team needs you and you can see them dying before your eyes. It's like, if only I were there, I could save him. I could have saved him. At least I'm going to rescue some of the coins. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. I got four coins back. It is not a total loss. I'm going to absorb some of this damage here. We gotta get this. Alright, not a good deep, not a good idea. That is one thing I do love about him is he can go under walls, which is incredibly handy. Alright, running, 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 running. He canceled my ability. Literally grabbed me by the butt, pulled me back out of the ground, and threw me over his shoulder. That is how much of a badass Diablo is. Diablo, 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 whatever. They want to capture the boss. Well, you know what? If I wasn't dead, I would totally be up for capturing that boss. Even though he does kind of look a little decrepit. Got seaweed hanging out of his mouth. Are those tentacles? Perhaps he just starred in some questionable Japanese films. I don't know. Don't ask me. I should probably choose a talent though. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the permanent life-stealing locust. Alternately attacks enemies and heals you. So, not the worst thing that's ever come about. We are down to two towers. They still have three. That could be quite problematic. They've got a combined 13 points there. I need to cash those in for sure. But, gonna tag along with the boss first. This is actually a really bad idea because that means that uh, we're all gonna follow the boss in and we're all gonna die. And that's going to leave all of the coins with them. Come on, attack him again. Your enemy has 
There's two. Oh crap, 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 crap. Get out before he gets that stupid ability out. And run! Yes! Made it. Shotgun blast to the face is going to push those things back. And that is a wrap, folks. Alright, going to try to save my buddy here. Don't think it's going to work, though. But, I'm going to get the coins and get out. Yes. Just barely. Goodness, that was close. I am recalling. Holy cow. Very low health on me. Very high health numbers overall, though. That is what you get for playing the tank. Regen's pretty monstrous as well. This game's like the Energizer Bunny. Just keeps going and going and going. I can't wait till I actually start the regular um, Heroes of the Stormcast. I feel like I am right on the cusp of being able to play and comment on this game and not have to be constantly thinking about what abilities are called and what the characters are called and all that other stuff. I'm actually going to be starting a um, character tutorial series in just a little bit. Oh, I'm going to run grab this here. So I can start going through all of the characters. Wow, that was close. Death for the living. I'm gonna recall. Hopefully I'll begin working through all the characters and uh, it'll start making a little more sense to me and to you guys what all these guys do, what their um, strengths and weaknesses are and how to exploit them. Oh crap, I got into a bad neighborhood. Let me get out. Thank you. Your core is under attack. Whew, buddy. You I'm going to heal up. Ring around the rosy. Alright, stayed a little too long, but it's okay. Totally missed my re-emergence there. Shield me? Shield me? Nope. Not enough. Alright, we lost this, I think. We're down to 66%. Did manage to kill one of them. And the other two are retreating, but that was... Uh, that's pretty close. We're at the same level. Actually, it is. Because we have identical tower configuration basically swapped we have the same level capabilities still feasible we could win this still feasible keep your hopes up actually if we can turn in coins that would be amazing because then um, we'll be able to get a free barrage out of it this will die in it will take half the barrage I think to kill these two and then we will actually be able to... Where am I? Dead. That's where I am. No wonder! Alright, I'm gonna move that way. See what we got here. Looks like they are going for the boss as well. See if we can snatch it out from under them. 
Nope, they're gonna get it. All right, so pretty much we're just trying to push the core and kill it before they get back, which is not gonna happen. There's Illidan in all of his OP glory. Slow him. Try to do something here. And misread my keys. But you saw what I did there. What I did was I accidentally used my spike facing the wrong way. And then I used my tunnel. I had it exactly backwards. It was supposed to be spike fall spikes the other way, or impale, as it is called. Impale one way and then run away the other way, but I got it backwards, so what? Ever. And this is the end. I do firmly believe. Here comes Illidan again. <laughs> Teleporting in out of nowhere. I have absolutely no idea how somebody with stubby short legs and a melee weapon can jump all the way, literally all the way across the map to kill someone. But apparently that is his forte, so we'll leave him to it and take our defeat with grace. Alright, that's going to wrap up this long and rambly game. That is basically you coming along with me as I am delving into some of the deeper workings of this game, trying to play with characters that I'm not good at to learn new things, and overall just broaden my knowledge of this. Right now I am grinding this game very hard. Basically what I did with Supreme Commander when I first started playing Supreme Commander, turning in an inordinate amount of hours, learning all of this stuff, so that I can share it with you guys and hopefully enrich your playing experience so you don't have to uh, go through the terror of doing this like I'm doing. You can just watch a couple of five minute videos on character tutorials and map tutorials and then jump straight into it and kick everyone's tail. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will be back with another game in just a couple of days. Right now though, you should totally go over and check out the Supreme Commander tutorial video that I did if you have not already. Some of the deeper inner workings of the Cybern faction to share with you guys. A uh, little bit about the finer points of fire beetling and some other things that you should totally check out. So I will see you guys over there. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.